Hopefully by now you've seen a few of the videos on this channel and you've decided if you want to run your screens as light or premium. If not, check out the related videos. Now you need to decide if you're going to run your screens with local content on a USB stick or internal memory, or if you want to connect all of your screens together over a network and have the ability to schedule content to all the screens in one go, as well as being able to control the screens from any PC. In order to do this, you're going to have to set up the Magic Info server, details of which can be viewed in the video titled Setting Up Magic Info Server. But you're also going to have to set each screen to connect to the server once in place. To do that, pick up your remote control and hit the menu button. Dependent on which screen you have, it may look a little different, but what you should find is the setup is reasonably the same. Navigate to the network option from the menu and select the server network settings and then connect to the server. Press the selection button on your remote control to select server address. You can navigate the on-screen keyboard to type the IP address of your server, but I find it's quicker to place the cursor on the dot and then use the numbers on the remote control to add the IP address and push the selection button every time you need a dot to separate the numbers. Once the IP address is in, select Done on the on-screen keyboard and then navigate to Save and press the selection button on your remote control to save. In order for the screen to be recognized by the server, select the source button on the remote control and then select Magic Info S. All that is now left to do is to approve your screen on the server to start sending content, so check out the video approving your display. If you'd like me to produce more of these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks very much.